Hi, my name's Emma. I'm the School and Youth Programs Manager at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today for another Art in Action Bema from Home. Today we're going to be making silhouettes. So silhouettes are a really good way to get the impact of having a subject, whether it be a person, an animal, an object, um, as part of your artwork without having to do all the work of um, putting details in the figure. Um, and it can create some really interesting effects. So I'll show you some examples of artists who have used silhouettes in their work um, and then show you an easy way to trace a silhouette from a person or a real life object um, and then think about what we can make. Alright, so for our silhouette activity today, you're going to need a couple materials that you should be able to find around your house. Um, and if you can't find them, there's some, I have some ideas about substitutes. Um, so the first thing you'll need is some tape. Um, and I think masking tape or painter's tape, anything that comes off of paper pretty easily um, would be better, but any tape will do. Um, and then I have a pencil or a crayon. Anything that you can draw with will work. Um, and I actually picked out a white crayon because I'm going to be drawing on black paper and I thought the white would show up a little bit better. Um, then I have my paper. I picked out a black construction paper, um, but really anything will work. Even if you wanted to use recycled paper or newspaper or magazine cutouts, um, anything will be good. And then you'll um, have a pair of scissors for cutting. A flashlight and I don't have a flashlight at home so I'm using a headlamp um, and then a object so you'll need something that you're gonna make a silhouette of and something that you think will look interesting um, in silhouette right so um, just the shadow of the object needs to be interesting and I so I picked out this dinosaur um, model that has some interesting shape to it you can also use a person if you want to um, have a friend or family member sit in as your model um, you could use a pet if you have a pet that would sit down for a long enough time for you to trace their outline. Really anything would work as long as you could recognize what it is in silhouette. Okay, so as you can see, I have my piece of black construction paper taped up against the wall. I have my dinosaur, my, my item, the thing that I want to see in silhouette. Um, stacked up on a pile of books so that it lines up with the piece of paper and then I have my flashlight kind of shining on it um, and this might be a little tricky to get in there and trace but I will go ahead and go in and just trace the outline of that shadow you can see that I have this beautiful silhouette um, cast on the black paper there and so I'll go in with my white crayon and um, just trace it on and see what I can do So for the final step, I will take the silhouette tracing that I did and kind of complete it. Just use the crayon to fill in the blanks here and I'm just going to do one line for that. Um, and then I'll use my scissors to cut it out. So there's my silhouette all cut out and um, I could even flip it over so you don't see the crayon lines um, and you can do this with really anything so I hope that you will um, try it out and see how you can use silhouettes in your own artwork.